here with uh, Laura Vandervoort and Grayston Holt, Elena and Clay from Bitten. Let him talk. Oh. What if I let him die oh, instead? Oh, well, there's a meetup. Season two, it's kind of interesting. There's kind of a, a switch because in season one, you know, Clay was very intense and, you know, high strung. And Elena was the one who was the calmer one, the one who was trying to keep things at bay. Now it's kind of flipped on its head because of what happened at the end of last season. Elena's now like a loose cannon and, you know, Clay's like, hey, let's, let's take it down a notch. Yeah. So uh, what's it like to play that kind of just switch in the dynamic? Um, I mean, it's always great when you can switch things up anyways as an actor, but uh, it's just nice for us both to sort of play a different side of the characters and uh, Elena being more in assassin mode and, and um, accepting her inner wolf and seeking revenge was a lot of fun to play this season, um, separated from the boys, so she's taking on a lot on her own. Yeah, it's fun. Well, it's interesting. I mean, it, you know, it's not like you took up knitting or anything. You know, I mean, you that took up you took great. up vengeance and killing. I mean, yeah. I can support that. That's yeah. an easy thing for a boyfriend to support. It's a cool hobby. Right? It is. <laughs> it is a cool hobby. I go, go, hey, girl. Thanks. Uh, as we start off this season, Logan is uh, in a really dark headspace. He's got yeah. a lot of. Uh, a lot of problems at the moment. Yeah. Uh, where's he at? Uh, we call that between a rock and a hard place. Oh, I shouldn't be calling you without Jeremy knowing. But we've got a possible lead on Malcolm. Clear. Look, there's no guarantee that Malcolm has Rachel, okay? What are you talking about? Of course he does. He was there at Stonehaven right when she went missing. Look, I hear you. I'm just saying there's no guarantee that she'll be there. Just... Where? Come on! Rochester. 63 Access Road 5. If you get there first, you wait for Clay on my head. No, I'm nowhere near Rochester. <laughs> Somebody stole his girl. You know, his girl's got our baby. So he's losing it, you know? Like when we saw him in season one, he was, he was the nice guy. He was the, you know, put together, career oriented dude. And, uh, you know, take a guy's girl and there's a lot of crazy things that he'll get into. And he's, he's knocking people around, you know? He'll cut your head off if he needs to, but at the end of the day, he needs to get that girl back, so. And he's going a bit rogue here. He's kind of stepping away from the pack at points. Bit. A little bit. You know, like I said, he's, he's doing exactly what he feels he needs to do. And sometimes that doesn't quite meet the needs of the pack, but we're trying to work on that. Family first a lot of the time, but yeah, I got a family of my own. Now, uh, Nick is uh, he's the consigliere of the group. And uh, what I love is that, you know, everybody's on the hunt in the first episode of season two. Everybody's out there. And you, you get the good job. You get to spend time with a lovely lady and, yeah. you know, make it all about her, which was, which was nice. Uh -huh. uh, you're the one character on the show that gets to play both the fun and the drama. Uh, how's it feel? Do you, do you really enjoy getting to play back and forth like that? As an actor, absolutely, yeah. Come on, it's the greatest job in the world. I mean, and you say that I get the good job, but it's because I do a good job <laughs> that I get that job. So, no, it's really nice. Like, w with everything that happened in the first season for my character, I've had to grow up quite a bit and put some different things on, on the forefront of my priorities list. Right. But with everything, there's a nice balance, and so I've been able to not let go of those, those you know, skills, we'll call them. Yeah. Uh, skills, that that skills. can that can facilitate my role in the pack, you know. I can't lose that altogether because then I just you know, I'm just not as important. Then you know, yeah. uh, but it's been nice to to sort of walk that line quite a bit and uh, and to sort of just discover it on my own. So I hear you. You have a, a sp specific set of skills <laughs> yeah. that uh, you use when needed. Yeah. Sort of thing. It's your own version of taken. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> It's called uh, Lickin. Oh, come on. <laughs> that was just <laughs> crass. You guys have some new cast members this year. Uh, yeah, there's, there's witches. Witches have now come into the show. Uh, was there any kind of initiation or practical jokes played on the, the, new, uh, the new crew? That's a good idea. We no, didn't. we didn't. No. <laughs> well, you, no. I, I, I don't know. You just, I, I think we just try to be we, welcoming. Yeah, we're them, really you know? overly welcoming, and they're all such great women. Um, yeah. And, and uh, oh, pranks so would we, have been we should have, now that you mentioned Any it. new characters next season, pranks. Yes. Yeah, come on, pack initiation. That's got to happen. We haven't happen. really pranked each other. No, we don't really prank much. And we joke and laugh a lot, but we don't. Yeah. And I love pranking. 
Let's make uh -oh. that. Let's make that a, a thing next season. Okay. Wasn't there a thing though that you were uh, you were pestering people with with the whole uh, song thing, or they, you oh, catch yeah. that? Yeah. Oh Who man. Sings that? Yeah. So uh, I'll, I'll sing a song. Sing a song. Shake it off. Shake. What? I hate that song. Who sings that? Taylor Swift. Yeah. Let's keep it that way. That's it. That's cold. That's yeah. cold but he right there. He does that there. all the time on set. I mean, if anyone's singing, for some reason we continue to forget this is his joke, <laughs> and we always respond. Yeah, you can also expand that into accents. Like if someone was like doing an accent, like an Irish guy, like, hey, yeah, Lucky Charm or something. Be like, hey, what accent is that, man? Oh, Irish. I'm like, yeah, let's keep it that way. But I do have to tell you, he, the Taylor Swift song, I thought he always hated it, so I would play it all the time in the car and annoy him. But I think he hates that he likes it. Because the shoulders do go. I, I kind of came to that realization today. Yeah, yeah, I heard you say that. On the, in the car ride to these interviews, um, she was playing it, and I noticed, I was like, oh, my hips are moving, and I didn't really notice, and I'm tapping my hand here, and I know the lyrics, but I hate this song, but I love it. Yeah. It's rough. That's, That's a our story. <laughs> Thanks yeah, for coming. Fun. A lot of, lot of love and hate when it comes to Bitten. <laughs> Malcolm Danvers. Where is he? You gonna let the girl do your fighting for you? You got another stupid question? In the f first episode of this season, uh, Pat Mastriani makes another appearance on the show. And uh, I gotta ask you, Laura, how do you feel after killing Joey Jeremiah? I'm heartbroken. Uh, I be heartbroken. You Canada, I am sorry. I'm No, I mean, I'm sorry. Oh, yeah. The accent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Um, I was a huge fan of Degrassi from the 80s, and, and uh, Joey Jeremiah Pat was my teenage crush. And I was, you know, shocked and surprised and nerding out when he was on the show. And um, I ended up having to kill his character. But no people or tongues were harmed in the process. That's good. Um, and uh, we've been tweeting back and forth. So he's fantastic. That's great. But I did nerd out, like, too much, probably. <laughs> yeah. Everybody wants something, yeah. you know. They'll never give up. Who sings that song? Th no, this is not a oh. joke thing. Oh. This is the Zit Remedy song. Okay, yeah, let's keep it that way. Tell me more. It wasn't easy. I saw this bone and cartilage. Have you ever heard someone streaming through Kurt Cobain blood? I have now. <laughs> 